block diagram of embedded system so embedded system is consist of various elements processor timer interrupt control parallel ports serial communication port program memory data memory and input devices interfacing driver circuit output interfacing driver circuitry and power supply reset and oscillator circuit system application specific circuit so now the first we'll see here input output devices you know that the embedded system can be interfaced with the external peripheral device so for that there is required uh, uh, interfacing uh, circuitry or uh, driver circuitry so input device takes the data from the external world and given to the uh, embedded system similarly here output interfacing driver circuitry output interfacing driver circuitry microcontroller gives the data to the external peripheral device or in short we can say that so uh, suppose my uh, embed embedded system want to display some data for that required output interfacing uh, circuitry just like to the display uh, lcd display we can say that the monitor we can say that the printer etc so now the first is processor so processor there are different kind of the processor we can use in the embedded system just like to the uh, atnc 51 microcontrollers we can say that the pic microcontroller we can say that the avr we can say that the arm 7 so these are the different kind of the processor microcontroller microprocessor we can use here as per the requirements of user so now next is the program memory and data memory so my embedded systems uh, basically play the most important role in any uh, automation systems so they require the uh, data storage in, uh, data storage and for that uh, embedded systems require the program memory and data memory so program memory and data memory sometimes they are called as a user memory uh, and uh, code memory and there are different kind of uh, memory the flash memory basically recently used uh, in the embedded systems so before that basically before that uh, EPROM memory uh, was using in the embedded system now next is serial communication port and parallel port so microcontrollers want to interface to external peripheral device want to interface the external world so that uh, uh, here uh, with the help of the serial communications the micro uh, embedded system can be communicate wirelessly to the uh, another system so we can say that so two or more com uh, communication interface for that we have to record a serial communication port so here uh, embedded uh, we can interface the gsm we can uh, interface the zigbee kind of the uh, devices to the embedded systems with the help of the serial communication port and the parallel port here uh, uh, parallel port is very very important and here we can uh, here pic and pix are used to interface the parallel devices with the system suppose any devices you want to interface with the with the microcontroller uh, with the embedded system then you have to go through with serial communication port or parallel port and then you know system application specific circuit as per the application the system application specific circuit may be changed suppose there is gsm according to the system application specific circuit may be changed etc that means specific application specific circuit will be required so now next is interrupt controls so interrupt control and timer so timer it's provide the uh, provide the delay and the various waveform various waveform and the interrupt control circuit it's uh, interrupts it is the uh, interrupts control uh, you, we can say that the microcontroller uh, provide the interrupt uh, interrupt five kind of uh, interrupts provides uh, just like to the uh, external interrupts and external interrupt and uh, another is a uh, we can say that uh, uh, internal or external there are two so internal interrupts uh, there are basically uh, basically uh, is uh, related with the um, p con uh, p con t con uh, p registers uh, serial communication uh, based uh, interrupts and the external interrupts are two uh, total five interrupts uh, are basically provide the microcontrollers uh, microcontrollers and it's required to maintain all the activities of the microcontroller properly for that required the interrupt controller the power supply definitely microcontrollers required a proper power supply plus three volt plus five volts and it should be regulated power supply reset circuitry when we suppose uh, embedded system is hang then suppose we press the reset button then micro microcontroller or we can say that embedded system start the work from the first memory locations and onwards so oscillator circuitry so you know that uh, internal all the circuitry or all the devices all the elements are synchronized to each other with the, with the help of the oscillator circuitry oscillator circuitry provide the uh, clock passes to the various uh, uh, elements of the embedded system 
so this is the entire block diagrams of the embedded system it is the general block diagrams of embedded system